Hi guys, so sourdough bread really seems to be in vogue at the moment. So if you've managed to make a sourdough starter and you wanted something else to make with the sourdough starter besides just bread, I'm gonna show you how to make some incredible waffles that have such an amazing texture and complicated flavor. So first, let's get started with the sourdough starter. Now I just started this starter a few weeks ago and if you don't have your own starter but you'd like to make some, it's really not hard at all. Um, and I suggest actually following a guide from this really small YouTuber named Joshua Weissman. He definitely could use the views and subscribers. He's a really small channel, very niche. So definitely go check out his channel after this. In all seriousness, his guide is what I used to make this and my starter turned out really awesome. So I definitely recommend it. So back to the recipe. We're gonna make a dough that's gonna sit out overnight and kind of really develop a complicated flavor flavor interact with our starter. And so to actually make this, we're gonna need one cup or about 220 grams of our mature starter to which we're gonna add one cup of buttermilk. Now actually for me, buttermilk has been pretty easy to find in the stores, a lot easier actually than regular milk. But if you can't find it, then yogurt might be a good substitute here, although it's not gonna taste quite the same. If you want a good resource on making yogurt and you happen to have milk, definitely check out the video I made a few months ago on how to make yogurt from milk. So next we're gonna add about 120 grams or about one cup of all purpose flour. And lastly, we're gonna add about one tablespoon or about 10 grams of granulated sugar. Now give this all a good whisk and then we're just gonna make sure everything is nice and incorporated, at which point we can just go ahead and cover this with a cloth and let everything sit out overnight. During which time the flour will become really hydrated and interact with the buttermilk and start to develop very complicated and amazing flavors. So the next morning we can actually come back to our buttermilk starter mixture and it should look something like this and trust me it smells so incredible. It has a slightly sour, tangy, but also bready and even malty smell. And to actually turn this into waffles we just need to add a few more ingredients. So in a separate bowl, we're gonna start with one egg, uh, to which we're gonna add about one fourth of a cup or about 65 milliliters of either a vegetable oil or melted butter. I'm going with butter here. Next, we're gonna add about one half teaspoon or about two grams of salt, and then one teaspoon or about six grams of baking soda. Lastly, and optionally, we can add in a small splash of some vanilla extract. If you're going for a more savory waffle, you can just skip that step. So we're gonna go ahead and mix all of this up, and then we're gonna add in our starter mixture. And that's it for our batter. So go ahead and heat up a waffle iron and if you have an option for temperature I went for about one third of the max temperature here Honestly, I kind of feel like maybe this is a completely meaningless unit So you'll need to kind of just check on the waffle as it cooks and adjust the time as you need now, If you don't have a waffle iron these can still make really amazing pancakes So just cook them over a griddle over medium low temperature and I mean they'll come out just as incredible Once our waffle iron is up to heat go ahead and add in a scoop of the batter in, close it up and let it cook for about 90 seconds At which point it's a good time to give it a checkup. You want to see if it's cooked and for me this waffle looked like it could have cooked for a little bit longer so I, so I left mine in for another 60 seconds at which point it came out like this and honestly this is it this is how we're going to cook the rest of them so I continued cooking through my batter now these recipe proportions will give you about three to four waffles depending on the size of your waffle iron so feel free to adjust the proportions as needed if you want to make six to eight waffles just double the recipe and uh, after that point that's it. So these waffles came out really amazing. I really can't describe how simple but yet incredible these waffles are. Now as far as what you can do with them, you can always go down the classic route of butter and syrup, but I really can't find maple syrup at this time. So I'm gonna go with some nice fried chicken and make some nice chicken and waffles for lunch. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new here, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next week. Stay safe out there. All right, bye.